Hello, Caroline. How are Hi, you doing? Caroline. How are you doing today? How are you I'm doing? Happy to see you. I'm happy to see you. So um, we're going to be talking about you. And we're going to be talking about how you went from wanting to quit to booking the lead in a feature. <laughs> right? Yes. So that's a good premise. So tell us yes. what happened. Where were you at? How did you get to a place where you were done? Sure. Um, well, I felt like I had recently graduated university last year. And in my head, I was like, I thought I was going to know the answers. I thought I was going to be confident. I thought I was going to be ready to tackle anything. I was thought I was going to be ready to like go into any audition and just be present and amazing. And the reality was I was not. I was more in my head than ever before. I was so unconfident in the audition room. I was choking at any possible break I could have had. So I just felt so, so, so lost to where I felt I should have been, you know, on a path. And I was just did not, I was so far away from myself and I felt so disconnected with the present. I was so attached to this idea of perfection mm -hmm. and this idea that it could be perfect. My artistry could be perfect. And, and I was just so, so, so far away. I was so emotionally unavailable, Joe. I, and in my day-to-day -day life, I had, I felt emotions deeply, but I had but no not idea. Really acting. I had no idea how to express my emotions. And in turn, when I got approached with these characters, I was being emotionally unavailable for my own characters. I was numb when I was trying to play these roles. And I was like, I'm just not good enough. I just can't do this. I cannot. And then something clicked was like, I need to really, really unravel something inside. And that's how I, I really got here. And the pandemic started and I was spending a lot of time with myself. And I was like, I can't resist this any longer. I have to go into it. So then yeah. I found you. <laughs> and you're so not alone. You know that, that yeah. I hear that story so many times that people study and study and study. Mm. And then they start and it's like, they were so far away, so f much further away from where they were before they even started because it, it okay. ends up being all up here. And, and that's not where it is. That's not where it is, yeah. And it's all external stuff. Okay. Yes. And so can you tell me a little bit about how, so you did the reset journey and mm -hmm. how, how, what was your experience in the reset journey going from that place where you were in a way disconnected? Maybe that's the closest word to, you know, you have emotions, Correct. but you're disconnected from them when you're wanting to perform and, and to the place where you're at now. So what, what are the motions you went through? Yeah, um, the emotions and the emotions rather, it was scary. It was scary in the best way possible. It hit me so directly in the face with things that I resisted and it was hard. I'm not gonna say it was easy, hard, but in the best way possible. And afterwards it was like, there's no words to describe. It was like coming home to myself. And it like, I get teary eyed thinking about it. Cause it's like, I felt so lost for so long. And it's just like, to finally come home and be able to be me, fully me, and not be ashamed to be fully me or my story and to want to share my story. And I'm so eager to help my friends come and I'm like, I want to take you under my wing. I know there's a way out. And it's just, I am just so, so at home. And it, it's, it is crazy, which is for lack of a better word, crazy. Well, isn't it funny that we don't even have a, a word for it? Cause everyone struggles to explain how they feel once yes. they, they reset because we've been so trained to be out of our instrument, out of our freedom, out of our purpose, mm -hmm. that that is the norm. And then when you're suddenly in your body being yourself, you're like, I don't even know what this is. It's definitely That's orgasmic. It's definitely yeah. the shit. It's home. And I can't explain it since we never talk about it anywhere. We never, there's, there's no one that describes it. And it's, it's just, it is. Because no one can and no one can teach it to you. And it's I think that's yours. the beauty of it. It's yeah. yes, it's yours. That is it. Is, and it's just individualized and it's just so beautiful. Yeah. yeah. That's such a good way to put it. So cool. So then you had an audition. Yes. Uh, or maybe more, I don't know, but you went to this audition and how did you show up? What happened? Um, uh, what, what was the, so that was inside your reset or after your reset? 
That was after the reset. After the reset. Um, and But Joe, it is so crazy. Aside from this audition, I felt like from the moment I started the reset to now, I, it's, I'm like, I feel like a magnet towards like these opportunities. Like I had no representation before I started it. I have an agent and a manager now. And it is just like, and I'm just like all these auditions and this for talking about the specific one, it was a self tape, like most of them are um, because of the, what's going on. And it just like self tapes. I was like, oh God, I feel like, you know, they get redundant. So I was like, I got the size for this audition. And I was like, I'm really excited to make this my own. And long story short, which was so unusual this, about this audition is the casting director emailed me and was like, we would like to meet with you. Like we were really, really impressed and don't prepare anything. We'll just meet with you. So then I met with them and usually this would be a callback stage where they would want to see some more. And they were like, out of hundreds of people, you, we didn't even picture the role. We didn't even picture the role. Out of a hundred people? Over hundreds, hundreds, over, I think they said over 500 and they were saying how they didn't even view the role to be done this way. And yeah. right when they saw it, they're like, this is what the role has to be. And ah, they just so offered me the role at the end. And they were like, everyone else, like they did great. And they did what we wrote and it was fine, but you brought something that we weren't expecting. And that was why we loved it so much and gravitated towards your, and it was, yeah. I just like, yeah. So that's what happened with this, the most recent, and it, it's just crazy. Well, that is, it's not, it's crazy that we call it crazy. I have goosebumps. No, I keep calling you crazy because I don't know. I, yeah, I have so many stories of people who do this work and then show up as themselves and do it as themselves. And they book without auditions, without callbacks, without yes. having a role that's right for them. People are rewriting. It is happening because you go way beyond what they could have imagined because you bring a yes. human being in the room. And, and yes. that's a hot commodity and it's so much fun right was, was your experience so of doing it fun yes I had so much fun and what was crazy about it when I submitted it I kind of forgot about it I was like normally I'm like attached to this like, yeah. I really, like am I gonna hear back like I hope it's yeah. gonna I was like for when they when they emailed me I was like oh that audition I remember the audition now I wasn't I was just like so satisfied with it I was like well, this because is you're so present that there's nothing to loop about there's yeah. nothing to doubts about say I should have done this or no if you were there 100% present, free, instinctive, well, there's nothing else you could have done. Apart yes. Maybe one thing, faking. But if you were really <laughs> present, really fully alive, that's it. It doesn't matter if you book it because you did exactly. your, your shit. That's what it oh, is. I'm happy for you. That's so <laughs> great. That's so great. <laughs> I'm so happy that we crossed paths. It's just like, it's, it's just so obvious, right? That if you're gonna try and do things the right way to look good and to be right and to take some methods for an art, I mean- it's Exhausting, it's exhausting, it's absolutely. And you're never satisfied with the end product. No. I never felt that. I felt so tired and I felt and, so, so and hopeless. And it doesn't make any sense. There's no yes. art in the world that has a recipe. Picasso oh. didn't follow a recipe. No, no one follows the recipe. You have to go with you. And yes. your weirdness and your moment and your everything. And it's the same for acting. And I don't yeah. know why it, it's like, I don't know. There's so much teaching acting and methods and techniques. And it's just like, it, it takes people out of their instrument. It takes them yes. out of their true self. Yeah. And, and, I, and you just feel like you're playing to an idea of something. You never feel like you're committed or you, you just feel like you're trying to play something that's so far away from you when in turn, it's all, it's all within you. And it's, it's, yeah. it's all amazing yeah. and beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Incredible transformation. Congratulations. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> That's amazing, right? To be disconnected and wanting to be done to being like bam, 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 and having a whole team yeah. and booking without a callback <laughs> out of 500 people. It's wonderful. Yes. It's yes. wonderful. That's what's possible when you show up as yourself. It's endless. Yes. Yeah. Endless it's possibilities. Endless. Wonderful. Very, very happy for you. Thank you, Joe. Um, so I think that's it. Um, is there anything that you want to add about your experience uh, doing this work? Um, I just feel like um, to add to what I, I went through, I just want to tell people that just jump in and don't be afraid. And, and when you get out, it's, you can't even, I can't even describe what you will feel like. And it's truly amazing. And that's really the gist of it. <laughs> 
Yeah. yeah. And, and there's no, you know, the way I can explain it because the reset journey is something difficult to understand because it's online, yes. and it's, you know, it's such a different format than regular acting schools. And this is definitely not teaching or a school. It's sure. really, um, it's, it, there's no it's actually, it's your journey. So yeah. the reset journey is 33 days in a row where I give you things that you do. I don't do any of it. I don't speak practically yeah. and make you yeah. unwire things that are preventing you from being in your instinct and yes. rewire and muscle up your instinct so that you can finally just be reconnect and be aligned and be in your power and your, all your potential. But, yeah. um, there is no program or teaching or there is no it it's like your journey so you start your journey and i'm just showing you the way back home but yes, I'm yes, not, exactly. yeah that's it i'm not doing any of it i'm not doing yeah, any of it show, it's literally just coming back home that's what yeah. it is yeah it is yeah that's great well so 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 glad for you congratulations Thanks. and um yes for those who are on the fence um, or who don't know what we do, you can type a comment in and let us know um, if you want to have some information about this. And if you're on the fence, um, we're doing, we're still doing our COVID support for actors who are struggling financially. So let us know if you need help. We have a BOGO um, support in place so that um, you can get in at 50% if you have challenges. So there we go. I, I hope um, that you're going to have a blast on this shoot. I'm sure you will. <laughs> and uh, voila.